Have you ever wished you could actually run VS Code on your server? Or even have some type of uh, functionalities like Cloud9 for your own website, all right? Well, Coder.com is here, guys, and we're going to talk about it. Cheer, cheer, cheer. You already know it's your boy Joe back at it again. Codingphase.com. Make sure you subscribe. Make sure you hit the notification bell down below. All right, guys. So let's get started. All right. So if you guys want to visit Codo.com, it's a pretty cool website. I love the design. I love what they have. All right. And now they just released something that is open source. It's open source for you guys to be able to use it on your website. And I believe it has the MIT license right now, so we can pretty much use it, right? Just for us to put into our own projects, okay? Now, imagine this. You, you ever use Cloud9 or you ever use, like, other services that they have their own text editor for your uh, environment on, on that server, right? Now you can do that yourself, right? And it's very easy. Now... This is pretty cool because I've been wanting to do this for a long time, okay? I remember back in the days when if you wanted to do a change to a file, you had to go into FTP and, you know, go to FileZilla, drag it into your server and do this, this, and that. Now you could pretty much run, like, your own server, right, and then log in to your own freaking files in there and just change it around. And you're able to use VS Code on the browser, now, I don't know about you guys. To me, this is changing the game. This I'm loving it. I'm really, really loving it because I could just see the potential in and the fact that you can do a lot of work. Even though, you know, I will point this out, you know, most people do things through GitHub and through, you know, Git Push or Bitbucket, whatever you're using, right? GitLab, whatever Git it's out there that you're using. You most likely you're using that on your environment right now. So it's actually easier now to just say, hey, push this to master and now your website gets updated. But just in case you want to have something cool where you could log in from anywhere and do your little changes right away. Here you go, okay? All right? So this is pretty cool. Now, they have uh, a service, right, for, I, I'm guessing it's for enterprise, right? And I, I think it's very useful in the sense of, like, you can actually run it. And, you know, you won't hear people saying, oh, it worked on my computer. It worked on my machine. Because I hear that all the time. You know how people be like, well, you know, I have Windows 10. And, you know, for some reason, some guy decided to still have Windows 7 in freaking 2019. He's like, well, I'm on Windows 7. And, you know, I, I never tried to uh, update, you know, my computer. But I'm trying to do things that's happening now in 2019. And you're like, bro, come on, man. Like, you got an old-ass computer, bro. Like, <laughs> Okay, so you won't deal with that no more, right? If you say, okay, I just want to do my development, and you just have it in the cloud, and you don't have to worry about none of this stuff. You don't have to worry about what type of, what type of computer you have, what, what type of things you might be running. And, and what's cool, too, talking about that for Coding Face, I might integrate this to a lot of my courses and show you guys how to run this on, on a remote server for those of you guys that constantly have problems with Node.js or whatever environment you might be on I might just say bro get yourself a little cloud environment digital ocean five dollars a buck uh, five dollars a month and pretty much run everything from there so like that we know that it works Okay, we know it works. They won't be like, well, I'm on version 2.3 and this, this, and that. It's like, bro, come on, man. I know it works. I did it. So, yeah. <laughs> so, I'm most likely going to start using this for a couple of new courses that I'm, I'm building. Okay, so this is pretty cool. Now, if you want to run it in your local environment, it's very simple. All you have to do is... Go to the GitHub. Hold on. Uh, where is it? Run Docker. You could run Docker, right? Or you could host it yourself. Me personally, I, hey, I'm on Mac, right? I could use the Docker, but hey, <laughs> listen, this is an executable file. I'm going to do that one. All right. So <laughs> you can run Docker if you have Docker set up on your computer. Okay. For somebody like me, right? We have Linux, OS X, right? All we have to do is come here 
download the binary right you come here click on darwin that's for mac linux linux okay now from there you're gonna come in open up your your file as a zip file you unzip it right you come into your your folder double click here this will pop up you will have a section here where it says password it will tell you uh where exactly is it being uh run right so you're gonna click here copy this okay copy your local host now the next thing you're gonna do is you're gonna come here paste that in and you're gonna get a some type of error that says not secure okay so let me see if i could pop this up for you guys okay there you go all right so this is what you're gonna see the very first time so once you see this you're gonna click on advance and then you're gonna click on proceed to local host okay once you get here you're gonna copy the password that they gave you you're gonna select this copy it okay and of course don't share your password with anybody okay when you're running this on <laughs> on your server because people will go in there okay make sure you just keep it safe all right now you're gonna paste your password and you're gonna click enter ide all right so what this is gonna do is gonna open up a vs code on the browser now currently right now it's just showing my whole computer all right, just showing everything that's inside of my computer, all of the, the, the folders and, and all the files that are on my computer. All right, but I can come here and go to, let me see. All right, so we're gonna click here for projects and we're gonna open up the frame email folder that I have. And then from there, I'm just gonna go into this distribution and go into this index.html. Now. Of course, this thing is minified, so I'm going to open up the other one that I have here. Let's go to pages. Let's go to index.html. So as you can see, we can open up our file, and it doesn't really matter what type of file it is. It could be HTML, JavaScript, it could be a Python file, C++, it could be C Sharp, it could be any type of language that's out there. You can just open it up you know go in change what you need to change and automatically you're gonna be good on the server now like I said this is pretty legit for those of you guys that might need to be running VS code on the server or you know for situations like I said if you're using uh, let's say uh, Windows something right Windows Vista right you pop up with windows vista and you're like man i, I love my windows vista hey man go to digital ocean for five bucks open up your own server run this on on their environment and now you have your website or your basically your environment online yes it's super annoying everybody calls me when i'm recording <laughs> all right so let's continue with this man so like i said they have a lot of examples here on how to do this you know there's the documentation just follow along it's pretty straightforward okay if you want to do it to um or through how you call this docker if you want to do it locally directly on your computer through linux or mac i just show you how to do it it's very simple okay now if you want to do it through google cloud you can follow along aws you can also follow along here on this link now for me personally i would just go to digital ocean i like digital ocean you know i'm guilty of it okay i like digital ocean it's pretty simple i think is one of the easiest way to spin up a, a server online okay and it shows you everything right it shows you how to set it up and how to get things running okay so it's pretty damn cool all right guys now definitely go check it out i'm gonna link this website below right i'm gonna put this uh coder.com i mean i'm gonna put the link but you guys it's coder.com right this guy's got one of the best freaking domains out there period okay now i do want to point this out this is a uh, basically a collaboration between us right between coder.com and your boy right they're sponsoring this video so shout out to them for supporting what we have here and believing on what we have on this channel and i hope you guys also support them okay now if you're working for a company or 
you know, you might want to do this for your your own company. I don't know, right? I get I get all type of people. I get students. I get people who are working as developers. I get people who own businesses that watch this channel. So if you're interested in this, check it out, man. You know, and like I said, there's a lot of cool features of having this on your server because let's say, for example, now nobody has no excuse to say it's not working on my computer or let's say you want to kick somebody out the team. All you have to do is remove his password, remove his privileges. That's it. You wash your hands off that dude. The dude that, you know what I mean? The dude that's messing up the code. You're like, hey, man, we can't have you touching the code right now. Remove his privileges. You know what I mean? So <laughs> as a business owner, that's gold. All right. <laughs> and for you guys, man, I'm going to also be doing, like I said, I'm probably going to add this thing to uh, a couple of my courses because I think it's very um, useful for those of you guys that are on Windows computers and have so much problems. Like now we could just spin up something on on a server, run this in there, and now we could just go in and, and, and work on a an environment on the cloud pretty legit okay guys definitely check them out coder.com and i also want to point out guys this video is brought to you by codingphase.com all right if you're looking to learn how to code and you're looking to learn how to code for somebody that can teach it to you in a very easy way very easy to digest and to understand and build real projects well you already know man you already know the address codingphase.com coming here man there's a lot of different courses that we have over 39 plus courses there's really about like 43 but i don't count the free courses because they're free <laughs> right if it's free then basically i'm not gonna count it as one of the packages for um you know the get all access pass all right so if you want to check it out man i definitely recommend for you guys to sign up for the yearly you get to save money and at the same time it's a very good deal, okay? But if you can't afford anything, sign up for the monthly, okay, guys? I will see you guys later. That's your boy, Joe. Back at it again, codingphase.com. Your boy is back and out and did it again. Hope you like this video. And make sure you subscribe and, yeah, and show some love in the comment section. See you guys later. Peace. <laughs>